Hey there guys, it's Silver, your host, and we are going to do another level of Time Splitters 2 for our little playthrough session. Our next one, as I mentioned in the previous part, is 1972 Atom Smasher. Let's get in there, shall we? Normal difficulty as always. Right. Atom Smasher, 1972, Carlos Island. Mr. Carlos has been trying to take over the world. Again. Sorry, I felt like it needed dramatic... Dramatic prefacing. His secret island base houses a state-of-the-art Atom Smasher. Who knows what his terror organization could do with the unleashed power of atomic particles. Does Carlos even know himself? Only the most suave and daring international playboy could escape from Carlos's clutches and foil his twisted plans. Special Agent Harry Tipper is such a man. Be careful though, the criminal genius is so evil that he would blow up his own island and particle accelerator rather than be brought to justice. Typical evil villain. Yeah, this um, this level has some crazy Bond and spy flick vibes to it. So good. Really hard though, it's where the game's difficulty curve starts ramping up from this level onwards. It's like, yeah, we're not going to go easy on you anymore. I I do not envy those people who play this level on hard. Trust me. Here we go. Wake, Wake up, 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 up. It seems you're my guest once again. I don't think much of the hospitality. You never take your death seriously enough. I thought this had your stench all over it, Kalos. I'm pleased you still have your sense of smell, Mr. Tipper. Let's cut to the chase. Just give me the crystals, <laughs> and maybe I'll go easy on you. You are in no position to bargain. They will be staying with me. Has anyone ever told you you... you have a screw loose? <laughs> yes, but in two minutes I will still be in one piece. Unlike yourself. Goodbye. Hey, look, we can work this out. Hey, can we talk about this? You still got the guarantee, Carlos. <laughs> <clears throat> Carlos is so evil, he even has his own death laser. Right. Excellent. And we are going to have to be quick. Because our objectives... Activate the reactor, defuse the booms, retrieve the time crystal, eliminate Carlos. While minimizing scientist casualties. Yes, the first half of this level is pretty fast paced because you're on a timer. Because you have to defuse all the splurdies before they go off. Right. Right, so let's go. You can't waste too much time. Right, we need a handgun. Got him. Nice. Did he go down? I don't think he did. Right. Go on, Mr. Scientist. Take care of that bomb fire. Excellent. Oh, go away, camera. Nice. Right. Okay, a bit more ammo. Nice. Let's go. Like I said, we are on a timer. There are five booms to defuse. 
My lord. Excellent. Got him. Nice. Gotta give the Dark Henchman there credit. He was definitely, you know, rising to his pay grade and taking more hits than his standard counterparts. Five hits instead of three. Right. Got him. Nice. We landed a headshot. To be fair, as well, between you and me, the sound the henchmen make when they get hit is really quite pleasing to me for some reason. Don't ask me why. Right. It just, uh... And by pleasing, I mean it sounds like that kind of, you know, really gruff... That sounds... Yeah, like that really kind of gruff, cheesy comic book villain sound. You know how they're all grunty and grumbly? If that makes any sense whatsoever. Right. Wow, these um, dark henchmen are fairly accurate as well. Right, need the fire extinguisher. That's a fire door. Wouldn't you know it, things be burning. I know, right? Very, very accurate portrayal of the situation there, Silver. Things be burning. Right. Wow. Henchmen have accuracy for days. Out of ammo. Get some more Soviets, quick. Oh dear. Back it up. Get another fire extinguisher. Oh dear. Grenade. Ooh, that was close. Nice. I don't know if he meant... They are really, really not letting us get past, are they? Got it. Okay. Let's do this. What the? Oh, damn it, guys. Okay, yeah. We've got to deactivate the steam valves. Right. Forgot about that. Right, okay, we're in the clear. Okay. One and a half minutes left. Can we still do this? Henchman hasn't spawned behind us yet. I always struggle with this bit. Oh, come on. We don't have the time. Bomb detonation in T minus one. Right, we can still do this. We have the time, but we're going to have to be quick. Right, okay. Okay. Very quick. Nice. Alright. Now then. Kaboom! Hey, fellas. Yeah, they ain't getting back up. Right. We've still got this. 
just gotta keep it together, keep it calm. Two minutes is plenty of time to get to the next one. Right. Extremely accurate. Henchman is extremely accurate. Wow. Okay. Gotta be careful of that one. He can, um... Can fire a grenade right near that that one and then it just ends the entire mission because everything blows up right where are the scientists I'll take care of that bomb yes there. disarm it please good sir we're gonna need you to come on now, now is it blue or red or red over blue? yeah playing this level on hard is um is not pleasant because yeah there are I don't remember if there are more booms, but the um, timer is definitely shorter. I think you want to get a minute and a half back as opposed to two minutes for each one you defuse. There are more enemies who do more damage. And you can already see here just how much damage I've already taken just from, you know, regular hits along the way. The henchmen in this level are oddly accurate. And I hadn't realized that until you know oddly enough right now right good he's down get this last scientist this is the last one that needs defusing right you... I'll take care of that bomb fire. very good defuse now, it please it red or red over blue? And now we are no longer on a timer. Which means I'm going to double back and go and get some more stuff. Because we now don't have to worry about Carlos destroying the entire island. Like the fine gentleman he is. Obviously you could see those lasers there. We're not going to get past them. Who's firing at us? I don't... Excuse me? Oh god. Freaking henchman up there. How did I not realize he was there? Oh well. It'll be fine, silver. Okay. Right. Now we're gonna get this elevator and come back. I think there's an armor up there. We are oddly going to need it after what just happened there. Nope. No. We're not going to manage that. Escort me up there, please. Right. Yep. I did remember rightly, there is a gun turret up there. Okay. Ammo. And I think armor, but I might be misremembering. Good. Grenades. That's something we're gonna need. Right. Yeah, the um, game is also very sparing on the amount of ammo it gives you as well on this level. Like, uh, oddly sparing. Alright. Is there no switch to bring us back down? No, I don't think there is. Alright, leap of faith. <clears throat> Bizarre how it's only one way. Oh well. Right. Let's head back and finish the rest of the level. Right. Oddly enough, guys, you can um, you can still fa fail the entire level if you blow any of these up or make them explode. 
even after they've been disarmed. So, yeah. Wouldn't recommend you go firing anywhere near them. Not that anybody in their right mind would, but hey. Some people might do it for giggles. Who knows? Speaking of giggles, shall we all discuss our Lord and Savior, Mr. Giggles? Who wants you to see what's in his pocket? Oh, right. Better open that up. Right. Henchman, I think he sees us. The one time we're gonna use a sniper rifle. Hey there, henchman. See you later. Right. Go across these tubes and do so very carefully. Because if not, we are going to get shredded. And nobody wants to get shredded. Right. Wow, these, these steam valves take longer than I remember to stop funneling. Okay. <clears throat> Thank you. Right. Had I hit those already? Or had I hit the X button while, um... while going through the door. Who knows, but they triggered. And it worked. Alright, let's get this turret. Got it. Okay. For some bizarre reason, I thought there was two there for a moment. Right. Disarm the laser grid from the control room. Ah, armor. We're gonna need you. Right. Now then, jump down onto these containers. I was a bit worried there that we'd fall into the abyss. Because there are gaps you can fall in here and you will die if you fall into them. Like these gaps down here. Do not fall into them, you will die. Right. Now we got to stop Carlos. The fun bit. And also the hard bit. He's got the last of his elite henchmen here to stop us. And they are very grenade happy, I'll give them that. Right. Okay. I am turning off your controls, Carlos. He's down. And naturally, Scourge Splitters start spawning in. Right. Let's get out of here. Right. Made it. Not with a great deal of health there, but we made it. <laughs> Alright, that's still good, though. That's fine. Main menu. Another level down. Only three more to go now, I believe. Yeah, three. C Carlos unlocked. And our next level, the Aztec Ruins in 1920. Wow, that was uh, 101 years ago. Youch. That was a long time ago. So yeah, that will be our next part. I do hope you guys have been enjoying this little run through of Time Splitters. One of my favorite games, I couldn't not bring it to you. Okay, yeah, three more levels, including Aztec Ruins. As always, thank you very much for stopping in. If you enjoyed the, the playthrough part, do feel free to leave a like or comment. Always appreciate it. And I will, as always, see you in the next one. So, guys, I have been Silver, your host. Have a fantastic morning, afternoon, or night. 
and I will see you again very soon. Take care, guys.